GTF Kisa What's good? Another day Another video GTF was good GTF was good If you woke up this morning You are blessed Church. If you woke up this morning You are most definitely blessed GTF we on the road with it right now man We on the road with it It's a beautiful day down here in Miami, Florida You heard it is oh so beautiful And I am happy to hear That the Miami Heat are doing good, you understand me? They done got rid of the Knicks, man. New York, I love y'all, but the Heat done got rid of the Knicks, y'all. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna cap with y'all like, I love the Miami Heat, I ain't gonna lie, but it's been a while since I've been able to actually sit down and watch a basketball game, you understand me? And now that the Heat is doing good, man, I need to find the time, man, to sit down and watch the playoffs, man, because I know it's probably real exciting sitting there watching them boys win, you understand me? So I gotta, I gotta try to find the time, because I ain't gonna lie, like, I don't really be having the time to sit down and watch basketball like that. You know what I mean? But I definitely got to sit down and find the time, man. If things getting real exciting, I definitely want to watch the heat. You know what I'm saying? Put that whooping on these boys. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's Team Miami Heat all the way, man. Miami Heat the best out here, man. You understand me? I ain't going to cap with y'all. I'm just being real with y'all. You understand me? But what's good, though, fam? Um. I don't know if you guys know or have you guys heard or saw that, you know what I'm saying, we had recently rolled out with the snack videos, you understand me? Yesterday I posted a new snack video uh, on the YouTube, you know what I mean? And just in case if you didn't see it, make sure you check that out, you understand me? It's a snack video, it's another segment, you understand me? Y'all go ahead on and check that out, man. Let me know how y'all feel about it, you heard? Let me know how y'all feel about the snack segment. Um, as far as food today, man, this car's so close to me, bro. As far as food today, I was on live this morning and somebody mentioned something about mad chicken. Yeah, and I was like, mad chicken, and the name, you know, the name just stood out to me, like mad chicken. So I Googled it, and I was like, you know what? This don't sound too bad. So right now we headed to this place called Mad Chicken and see what it's all about, Jerry. I don't know, man, just something about the name to me, Mad Chicken. Like, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie, it sounds like this might be something spicy. But you guys know I'm not really into spicy food, but I'm pretty sure they should have some not spicy options so that's why we headed with it right now we going to mad chicken here we on the road with it let go All right, fam, we pulling up right now. All right, fam, go right here, yeah. Mad chicken. Fam, we about to see what this mad chicken hit for. We about to find out what made this chicken so mad. All right, fam. Let's go see what this mad chicken hitting for. All right, fam. We on the strip, yard. Yeah. Let's see what this mad chicken. What make this chicken so mad? They got a little seating area outside. I see. I ain't gonna lie, boy. It's too hot for me sitting out there, boy. Ain't no shade out there, boy. That's for the people that's trying to get tans. You understand me? All right, fam. We in the wet yard. We got the grub. We got the grub. I didn't do it. We got the grub upon walking out the establishment because I had a lot of stuff in my hand. So, you know, I had a drink in my hand too. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. But yeah, uh, so I got that mad chicken here. Um, yeah, so I got eight traditional wings. I got the eight traditional wing combo. All right, fam. 
Time to set up Grub Tim Mobile Studios. All right, fam, we got the grub on deck, y'all. You want the mad chicken, y'all? Get hold on, I got the receipt. Fam, I ain't even gonna cap with y'all. This is not grub for under half a dub. So I got an eight-piece traditional wings combo. Um, the eight wings alone was $13.99, I believe. Uh, so I wanted to make it a combo because they had waffle fries and I wanted to try their fry. So to make it a combo for me was, uh, it came with a drink, it was $4.49. So in total, $13.99, $4.49, $1.29 tax, in total was $19.77. $19.77, you heard? Fam, I ain't gonna lie, I already know y'all gonna be snapping in the comments. Eight piece wing combo for 1977. I ain't gonna lie, I know y'all gonna be tripping in the comments. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know, when I think about it too, the price is kind of high for an eight piece combo. Uh, here's the box right here. Yeah. They got some nice packaging going on. Y'all see what's going on, man. But I ain't gonna lie, though, one thing that kind of had me disturbed, though. I mean, I feel like if I got customers in there coming paying and the customer want a, a cup of ice, uh, I think I would have at least gave it to him. Because, you know, I be doing my, um, y'all know I do my little Sprite pour up thing. So, you know, I needed some ice. So I asked for a cup of ice and they said, we don't have a cup of ice. We, you know what I mean? Like, we don't have cups for ice. So I was like, yo, like I just put 1977 and I can't get a cup of ice? You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know, that's, that's crazy to me, like, 1977, and I can't get a cup of ice? If I come, if, I'm, if I got a restaurant, I got an establishment, I got paying customers coming there, like, especially if not somebody that just walked in and wanted a cup of ice, somebody that came in and paid and bought some food, like, that wanted a cup of ice. So, I don't know, fam, I think that's kind of weird to me. But, yeah, this is the food right here, you understand me? So, let's hope that the taste matches the price. You understand me? Let's get into this food. Let's pop this thing open. All right, fam, that close-up action here. Eight-piece traditional wings tossed in their mad sauce. They got some sauce called mad sauce. It's not spicy, from what I was told. Then you got the uh, waffle fries back there. Let me see, we're about to see what this thing is hitting for. Gotta pour one for the GTF! Alright, fam. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, fam. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. For the 1977, this plate is light, you heard? This plate is light. Like, they barely. Like they definitely, they definitely ain't give me enough waffle fries. Give me eight pieces of wings and a little bit of that waffle fries. They tripping. But anyway, waffle fries. See that waffle fries got the, it got seasoned, these seasoned waffle fries. Hit that bag. These are fries up. I'm gonna cap them. They give me a side of that mad sauce. They call it mad sauce, M A D sauce. Take that waffle fry. Dip that beer. Hit that beer. Mmm. This mad sauce. It's supposed to be some type of secret sauce. It kind of gave me a vibe of like some type of buffalo mixed with mayo type of situation. I could be wrong. That's just my taste buds. That's what my taste buds is telling me. You know what I'm saying? Your taste buds might tell you something different. But that's the type of vibe I'm getting, y'all. Hit that beer. Hit that beer. That mad sauce fire. They also give me some ranch dressing. This the ranch dressing right here. I'm about to try this ranch out. 
I ain't gonna lie. This ranch kind of tastes buzzing. We're gonna try it out anyway. The stay ranch. Dip that bit. Hit that bit. I ain't gonna lie. This ranch right here buzzing. I ain't gonna lie. People not. People need to start figuring. Figuring out what wing stops. Get their ranch dressing from. Cause that ranch, that ranch dressing they gave me ain't hitting on nothing. Man, I ain't got no more waffle fries, bro. They gave me a little bit, bro. For 1977? A little bit of that fry. This the wing right here. Hit that bit. messing with these wings. These wings already tossed in mad sauce, but I'm about to dip it in some more mad sauce. Dip that bit. Hit that bit. Mmm. Has a whole vibe, yeah. That was a drumstick. Look at them flats for y'all flat lovers, man. I don't like, I don't love flats. I mean, I eat them because it's still chicken, but I'd rather them drumsticks, baby. The chicken is cooked to satisfaction. Seasoned well. Everything. These wings. Hey, right. Well, yeah, fam. This is mad chicken down in Hollywood, Florida. The food definitely tastes good. It's definitely worth a try. I don't see myself going here and spending 1977 all the time, though. Maybe once a month, once every two months. I don't know. Because it is expensive, to be honest with y'all. I'm just being real with y'all. 1977, eight pieces of wings and some fries. That's crazy. Damn. I gotta think about it. It's hot. <sighs> but yeah, fam, what I want to talk to y'all about today, here's a chance to exit if you want me to ruin the show for you. Last night, y'all. Last night I watched Power Ghost. I think episode nine. It started off crazy. Y'all know from the previous episode, Sax got killed. You feel me? So this episode started off. Tariq is at a at the lawyer Davis office. Kane calling Davis on the phone, trying to reach Davis. Davis ain't picking up the phone. Kane ain't even message. Yo, where you at? If he got arrested, I'm on my way to the office. Kane pull up to the office. Tariq is there looking at some paperwork. Tariq put the paperwork when he seen Kane coming. Tariq like, what you doing here? And then Kane and Tariq start arguing about the whole Lauren thing. You know, Kane blaming uh, Tariq. Tariq blaming Kane. They going back and forth. And Tariq, Tariq, I ain't gonna lie, boy, you feel me? Tariq swung on him with the name Kane. But he missed, you feel me? He texted me. Tariq swung on Kane, but he missed, you feel me? So now they go to tussling and stuff. Of course, Kane is winning the fight because Kane is bigger than Tariq, you feel me? But I ain't gonna lie, though. I wanted Tariq to win because Kane be acting like a little bully, you heard? I hate the fact that he be acting like a little bully. I wanted Tariq to win. So now, you feel me, Kane? 
and them had Tariq Tussling, so now Kane was about to hit Tariq. I don't know, was it a computer with a laptop or a computer monitor? He was about to hit him. And then Davis came in, hey, 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 what's going on here? Da, 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 da. So now Davis gonna stop the fight, you feel me? So now they both talking to uh to Davis. Kane, Tariq talking to Davis. They telling him that, yo, you need to go help Effie, because Effie, you know, if you don't help her, you know, she she could burn us or whatever the case may be, because she know a lot about the operation or what have you. But he like he said he on it, whatever. So now Kane leaves. Kane leaves, you feel me? He gone. Tariq is still there talking to Davis. Uh now Tariq leaves. Davis, you know, he's still pissed off that, you know, his brother's dead because his brother killed Sachs and then committed suicide. So, you know, Davis said he spoke to the police anyway to clear up the situation as far as, you know, so they don't think he had anything to do with it, with the murder of Sachs. So, you feel me? So now in that episode as well, uh, the lady all of a sudden, the lady who Sachs liked, she starts breaking down into tears when she finds Sachs, find out Sachs has been murdered, da 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 All of a sudden she crying these fake tears, you understand? Know but when Sachs was alive, you ain't appreciate him, you feel me? You ain't appreciate that, man. That happens a lot in real life. When people are alive, we don't appreciate them. It's when they gone, all of a sudden, you so sad. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? You crying. Or you posting on social media. You know what I'm saying? But when people are alive, you don't appreciate them. It's when per a person got to die for you to show appreciation. And that goes on in real life. And that's sad. That's crazy. And as human beings, we need to stop doing that. Facts. You understand know I me? Mean? But well, she's still crying, whatever. Now she wants revenge. Or oh, she's gonna make sure she put them behind bars. Da 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 da. -da. Get out of here, bro. You ain't care about no sex, bro. You feel me? So anyway, Davis goes to help Effie. Effie don't want Davis help. Effie was supposed to be trying to get her own lawyer or something like that. I don't know, it's crazy. If a lawyer come help you, let him help you. What you talking about? So you trying to get your own help type of thing, you feel me? So uh what else happened? Oh, Tommy Kane, you feel me? Tommy Kane, big part of the show. Tommy came back. Because uh, what his name is? Tariq had them pulled up where, uh, where his mama them stay at. You know, his mama them in hiding. Mama, grandma, and his sister in hiding, you feel me? Tariq had them pulled up over there because he felt like something was going to go wrong. Because I think uh, Sax, before Sax died, Sax was sending out letters to people. So certain people know. And even Tommy, I think, got a letter. Two Bit came back, too. Two Bit came back. So, uh... Uh, Sax before Sax died, Sax had to send off some letters, and then uh, Tommy had got a letter with from Sax, I believe, with the location of where uh, Tasha at, which is uh, you know Tariq's mom. So now basically, you feel me, Tariq, he goes over there to make sure everything's safe, but you know he stay outside, he ain't going inside. So now his daughter, his uh, sister saw him on a block, so she came, she started talking to him, whatever, you know, embraced him, and then um, you see that Mustang pull up. When you see that Mustang pull up, that '60s Mustang, you know that's Tommy. You feel me? So now the Mustang pull up, you feel me? Like, damn. So as soon as I seen the Mustang, like, oh, snap, that must be Tommy. So it is Tommy. So Tommy pulled up in the crib. You know, Tommy still got some type of beef with Tasha them because, you know, he felt like they told on him, they snitched on him, whatever the case may be. So now Tommy pulled up on their ass with the guns, you feel me? Tommy shot the security or I think the the, the security who was, who was watching with um, Tasha them and, uh, Tariq came in there. Tariq had his pistol. I pointed at Tommy. Tommy pointed a pistol at Tariq. Looking like they was finna get into a gun blaze. You know what I mean? And, uh... Alright, what happened? Somebody... Somebody came in there, whatever. And, uh... And threw the whole thing off. And I think they shot that person. And after that, the scene, the, 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 the show ended right there, basically. But it was definitely a dope episode. Also, in that episode, oh, they confronted um, Monet. The kids confronted Monet because the lady, the other lady, who was the mother of the dude that Drew was dating, you know, she came to check Monet. Like, yo, your son basically confessed to um, killing my son or what have you. Da, 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 da. Monet tried to, you know, argue that, oh, you feel me, that... That uh, it wasn't her son, it wasn't true, this and that. And then um, Monet had uh, Drew them killed the lady and her and the rest of her kids. So, so you know they don't have nobody trying to retaliate on them. So now they 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 put they they wait till, they waited till it was nighttime till they store was closed and they locked the doors and you know put gas in there and they died. But before the lady passed away, Drew went and talked to the lady. She said it was Monet. Monet was the one that had your father killed. Da 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 da. da. So now you feel me? So now Drew went and told. Spoke to Kane about it. He told Diana about it. 
You know what I'm saying? Kane said he been had his suspicions or whatever the case may be. So now they confront Monet. You feel me? And uh, Diana snapped on Monet, but Diana wasn't having it, boy. She snapped on Monet, you know? So now they had to like, uh, Drew had the whole uh, Diana back. Like Diana wanted to beat her mama, you beat the mama, you feel me? So anyway, whatever, they got into a big argument. So everybody left and left Monet by herself. So now Monet beef with the whole family. You know, the whole family man. Like, how could you take out, kill our own father, this and that? Crazy episode, fam. You feel me? Let me know if you seen the episode. Let me know what you thought about it. Drop in the comments and let me know. Yay! But yeah, fam, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, this food right here from Mad Chicken, it was definitely good. Uh, definitely flavorful. The the the, the, se the season waffle fries was good. The chicken wings was good. You feel me? With the mad sauce on them. I like the food. I just think the food is kind of pricey for a for an eight wing combo. I think it's pretty pricey. 1977 yard. But like I said, you know, it was definitely worth a try. Anybody that want to go out there, definitely try it out. You feel me? Because the food is good. The chicken wings was good. The fries was good. I'm not telling anybody don't go try it, but it is kind of pricey. You understand what I'm saying? Um, like I said, uh, it's not something that I would try all the time because it is pricey. Uh, but that's about it for today, fam. GTF for life.